Good afternoon, everybody. It is my pleasure to participate in 2020 MIT AB Applied Energies uh, Symposium. The contents of my report is to introduce the situation of global waste lithium ion battery recycling and some recent work of our team. In addition, I will introduce a mechanochemical technology that we developed to selectively recover lithium from spent lithium ion batteries through a case study. The presentation title of it is Selective Release of Lithium from Spent Lithium Ion uh, Phosphate Battery by Mechanochemical Assisted Solid Phase Oxidation. Personal my research interest is in solid hazard waste management policy and planning. And also I'm working for the uh, recycling technology of uh, electronic waste, including waste batteries. And solid waste pressure control technology is also my interest, as well as circuit economy and urban mining. So today, my report will be focused on the four aspects from the introduction of the information and following by the recent work we are conducted and then for the technology itself and then conclude the presentation. So starting from the global trade in recycling of speed lithium and batteries, In recent years, driven by the development of a global new energy vehicle market, the power battery field has become the main factor driving the rapid growth of a global SMM battery market in recent years. These M batteries are recognized as most promising new energy powered batteries. The result in the figure shows that the field of new energy powered vehicles has become the main driving force for rapid growth of global lithium and battery production in recent years. In general, the life cycle of lithium and battery are about five years. At the end of this cycle, the spent lithium and battery will enter the recycling chain this figure show the global lithium and battery cycling market size and the future trade. In 2018, the global lithium and battery recycling market will reach, uh, has reached more than 100,000 pounds and it is expected to reach more than uh, 600,000 pounds in, in 2025. According to a report released by International Market Research uh, Organization, the market scale of globalism and battery recycling is about uh, 1.5 billion US dollars in 2019, and expected this rate will increase to 12 billion by 2025. So this, there are three major uh, motivations from spent lithium and battery recycling. The first is environment protection uh, consideration. The second one is economic uh, consideration. The third one is policy support. Especially recent, recent few years, uh, some of the countries such as China, we already have uh, supporting uh, policy to supporting the recycling activities of lithium batteries. This picture is a scheme diagram of the upstream, middle, downstream industry chain of lithium and batteries. 
Upstream includes the mining of manufacturing of raw material. The middle stream includes the production and the manufacturing of battery components and assembly of lithium and batteries. Downstream is the application scenario of lithium and batteries. The rules of recycling at the end can stable, stabilize the industrial supply chain of lithium and batteries. The figure on the left shows the main electrode material types and the main application scenarios of lithium and batteries. It can be seen that there are four main types of extrude material for lithium batteries, namely lithium cobalt oxide, lithium uh, magnet, lithium N4 uh, phosphate, and nickel cobalt manganese uh, ternary material. The diagram on the right shows the contents of valuable metals per ton of spent lithium and batteries. In recent years, scientific research on the recycling of spent lithium and batteries has increased. Most of this study has focused on how to develop efficient, clean, economic technology to achieve the selective extraction and the recovery of valuable metals from spent lithium and batteries. The second part in this section. I will introduce some of the research results of our team on recycling of spent lithium and batteries in recent years. Our achievements are mainly divided into three aspects. One is the pressure control of a fluoride in spent lithium and batteries, development of dismantling equipment for spent lithium batteries, and the selective extraction of and uh, regeneration of valuable metals in. Uh, spend lithium and batteries. Here is our cooperation partners. Since 2000, uh, since 2013, we contact the National Science and Technology uh, Project. It's named Research on Pollution Control of Waste Electronic and Electrical Plants in the process of uh, resource recycling and the environmental safety control of resource-based products with a focus on waste leasing batteries. Leading by Tsinghua University with some participating organizations such as Dongjiang Environment Protection Company. We also supported by UNEP to assess the environment sound management status of batteries. We are supported by a major project of Beijing Social Science Fund in 2017, uh, working on the uh, power battery re uh, recycling mode in Beijing. This is three years project. And we also, early, at the early stage, we supported by Toyota uh, Motor uh, Technology Center to research on the storage and treatment technology scheme of waste vehicles batteries during 2013 and to, uh, 2013 uh, this year. We contacted the Litton Group for the environmental sound management uh, and the practice of uh, waste batteries, uh, focus on the waste power batteries. We are supported by uh, Volkswagen uh, working on the power battery recycling technology and the cost and the cost research during the two years ago and four years ago for two terms of project. And uh, since last year, we conduct a research project of uh, power uh, battery. Uh, a calling uh, utilization of waste lithium and batteries funded by Ford Motor Company. And recently, we started another project is funded also by, um, by Toyota. 
This project is belong to a project third of green and zero waste. And starting from the early of this year, uh, Tsinghua University organized a strong team, including uh, School of Environment, Department of uh, Electrical uh, Machinery, and also School of Material, and Institute of Nuclear and New Energy Technology, leading by my team. Uh, in this project, we will focus on the recycling mode for environmental, uh, environmental uh, benefit evaluation and also evaluation system of uh, equivalent utilization application third and the green technology system of metal separation and the recovery. And the fourth research contains a sustainability study of uh, renewable material used in new batteries. We have some output, have some publication. So we published papers uh, in the uh, Journal of Clean Production for its prone uh, uh, green uh, route of recycling spent lithium and batteries. And also we published uh, papers uh, in the ACS, Sustainable Chemical Engineering, from, uh, from the Environmental Management and the low uh, temp, uh, temperature approach of uh, composition of uh, uh, pyrene uh, leaders, leading uh, fluoride from the uh, spent lithium and batteries. We also have uh, uh, papers for EST. We uh, publish acid free selective extraction of lithium uh, batteries through a mechanochemical induced asthmophic uh, su uh, substitution. This, we also have publication in a journal for hazardous material and also for some others such as chemisphere. Uh, totally we have around uh, 20 papers on the uh, battery uh, field. Here is an example for the, uh, for the recycling technology that we have working on that. It's, uh, here is a uh, a uh, molten salt process we propose can achieve the separation aluminum for foil and uh, uh, cathode material at a low temperature of 160 degrees uh, calcium. Calcium oxidized based alkali medium can achieve the clean degradation of uh, PVDF and the cellular capture for fluoride. The deep, uh, deep uh, eutectic uh, solvent as an environmental friendly and the low cost re uh, reagent can realize the thermal uh, degradation and the clean recovery of PVDF. This is a series of papers published in this area. So this is a series of paper published by uh, using mechanical uh, chemical uh, method to recover mater valuable material in spent lithium batteries. We also have some patient, uh, patent related to lithium batteries. And this is the name of the patents in China uh, for the recovery of cool battery from spent lithium uh, and batteries. Uh, the method and the uh, devices, uh, device for recovery of metals from the uh, spent lithium and batteries by water uh, soluble uh, anic uh, liquid. The method and the device, uh, device for recovery and treatment of waste lithium and batteries with oxalic uh, acid as extraction so, uh, solution. A method for direct uh, regeneration of a high purity lithium uh, 
carbonate from with lithium ion batteries. Uh, of course, this patent is, uh, uh, is uh, protected by China policy. It's not outside of the world, uh, of the country. Uh, in recent years, our research team working on could be divided into three parts. One is the first part is realize the recovery of uh, fluoride in spent lithium ion batteries by developing different grain process in the lithium ion batteries. Uh, the presence of organic better uh, PVDF between the uh, cathode material and the aluminum foil handle, the uh, separation of the aluminum foil and the recovery of the acid material powder. The treated process of uh, uh, degrading uh, PVDF will lead to release and uh, the release of uh, fluoride, fluoride and the environment risk of the action. In order to solve this tradition problem, we conduct deep research. So we have developed spent uh, lithium ion batteries dismant uh, dismantling and uh, pretreatment technology and equipment and realize uh, the integrated process of spent lithium ion batteries from pre-discharge dismantling to end available material recovery. As can be seen from the figure, uh, cathode material powder, aluminum foil, and copper foil can be ob uh, obtained by discharging, uh, crushing, and sieving. At present, or uh, at present, all research focus on has a convert from the crushing and separation of spent lithium ion batteries to the extraction and recovery of valuable material. Regarding to the recovery of valuable material in spent lithium batteries, in order to resolve the technology defects, defects of the traditional recycling process. We have designed a series of environment-friendly recycling process for valuable metal in spent lithium ion batteries using emerging technologies such as mechanical method. According to the type of cathode material, spent lithium ion batteries can be divided into lithium ion, iron, uh, phosphate, uh, ternary uh, nickel belt uh, manganese, lithium uh, mechanite, and the lithium, uh, and the lithium cobalt oxide. Our idea is to dismantle the spent lithium ion battery first and then obtain the uh, cathode material powder. Subsequently, with the help of the mechanical chemical, mechanochemical uh, compilation, by adding different uh, ligands and the valuable material in the uh, cathode material are converted into, into a metal production products for uh, recovery valuable metals in the cathode material powder can be uh, converted into water soluble metal compounds and the action of uh, mechanical force. Through the, regulation, uh, through the regulation and the control of the solution, metal products with high economy value can be directly obtained. In the whole process, there's no use of acid and alkali, and the organic waste liquid is produced. And the uh, premise of the guaranteeing profit, high economy per, uh, profit can uh, maybe can be promote industrial uh, recycling and solve environment production and economy uh, cost problem of recycling of spent lithium batteries through this technology internet you know, uh, innovative technology. This is our, uh, this is our route for using mechanical chemistry 
mechanical chemistry method to recycle spent lithium ion batteries. The process is mainly divided into above steps. Considering the uh, diversified types of uh, cathode material, it is necessary to select uh, appropriate ligands and control process. We have previously uh, de developed a series of uh, ligands to uh, assist uh, the conversion of valuable metals in the cathode material of spent lithium ion batteries into metal products, such as organic ligands and inorganic ligands. At the same time, during the recycling process, we focus on the following three aspects, environment friendly, economic benefit, and the migra uh, migration and the transformation of material spaces. In this chapter three, we mainly introduce one of our research uh, work. The case show how to use mechanical mechanochemical method to realize uh, the recovery of valuable metals in the spent lithium ion batteries. The experimental material we use was a spent lithium ion uh, phosphate battery. Our research goal is to achieve the selective extraction of lithium from spent lithium ion uh, phosphate cathode uh, material through a mechanochemistry assisted solid phase oxidation. At the end of the 19th century, uh, Maslow Crayley Lee uh, established mechanical chemistry as a separate branch of chemistry. He demonstrated the that some of the 10 compounds react different under the influence of mechanical action and heat. In 1919, uh, Wilhelm introduced the term mechanical chemistry into the literature. However, the presently accepted definition of mechanical chemistry was given by uh, Gerhardt in 1984 as Mechanical chemistry is a branch of chemistry which is concerned with the chemical and the physical change of solid, which are induced by the action of mechanical influence. Mechanical in, uh, chemistry mainly refer to the application of mechanical energy to cons uh, condense matter such as the solid and the liquids by means of sharing uh, friction, friction uh, impact uh, extrusion etc to introduce uh, to induce change in its structure and the physical chemical uh, properties and the induced chemical reaction unlike ordering thermochemical reaction, the power of the, uh, of the reaction is mechanical energy rather than thermal energy. So the reaction can be complete with harsh condition such as high temperature and high pressure. As shown in above figure, uh, during mechanic, uh, mechanochemical process, the co breeding uh, reagents are selected to mix with raw material. Then the process providing the me uh, mechanical energy, including milling, grading, uh, screeching, polishing, uh, sharing, and rapid uh, friction. And finally, the, the new compounds are uh, synthesized. The above figure show the reaction equipment for uh, mechanical chemistry, uh, chemical reaction. Generally, mechanical chemistry react play the key roles in the mechanical, uh, mechanical chemistry. And typically the equipment used for mechanical uh, activation include uh, trumping a mill, uh, stirring ball mill, uh, vibration mill, rolling mill, and uh, uh, planetary uh, bone meal. In 
in the uh, past decade, the mechanical technology has developed rapidly in the recovery of valuable metals from electronic waste, such as spent lithium batteries, waste PCB, CRT, uh, lead uh, glasses, and the fluorescence lamp. It can be it can be seen from the above figure that the various uh, elements can be extracted by mechanical uh, uh, mechanochemical method. First, uh, taking uh, spent lithium and uh, phosphate battery as a research object, high purity lithium uh, phosphate, iron phosphate and sodium sulfate products can be obtained by using a mechanical chemistry assisted solid phase oxidation. Pure water leaching and uh, chemical uh, precipitation, precipitation. The, techno, uh, the technical uh, properties of the process can be say have uh, several uh, aspects such as short uh, reaction time, high product value, high product purity, uh, short uh, card recovery process, no, as, uh, no acid and alkali uh, reagent, zero waste is really can be uh, can be achieved through this technology. This figure in this slide are the experimental flow. A chart for this study. In the following description, I named the lithium uh, iron phosphate uh, cathode material as RFP material. So solid phase reagent, uh, reagent sodium phosphate uh, uh, are named in PS, PS agent. So obtained the cathode, uh, cathode uh, material power and uh, some of the uh, co-grading agent was first put into a uh, zirconia uh, ball milling job along with eight uh, zirconia ball with a diameter for eight milligram, a millimeter. The zirconia uh, ball mill job was sealed and placed in a high energy uh, planetary uh, ball mill for reaction at a different time, a different time interval, a different uh, rotate speed. After the re reaction, the sample was directly uh, dissolved uh, in the uh, de ionized uh, water and uh, ferreted through a uh, 0.2 mu m filter and the uh, metal contents of the lithium and the iron uh, iron ions who were uh, married in the in, uh, uh, inductively uh, coupled plasma optical emission uh, spectrometer and the leaching uh, percentage of the lithium and iron was calculated based on the test result So the result, uh, we first uh, uh, studied the uh, solid phase oxidation behavior of lithium in the spent uh, batteries. Under uh, the figure one is the XRD uh, pattern of the, uh, of the beginning raw material. As we can uh, can we see from the figure, as a battery material, the crystal structure of the uh, of the cathode material was not obvious. Compare with the compare with the uh, uh, sodium salt, and, and therefore the correct different uh, diffraction peak of lithium uh, uh, salt in the RX, XRD uh, pattern of the mixing sample. So you can see this is not significant. This can be attributed to the maxing uh, effect of this. Uh, 
uh, reagent. The result of the figure also show that XRD characterizes the diff uh, diffraction uh, peak of, uh, of the material. Uh, this decrease with the increase of the uh, rotary speed. The, the peak position of the uh, diffraction peak changed significantly. Uh, this indicates that, that under action of my, uh, my mechanical force, these two uh, chemicals and the went mechanical uh, mechanochemical reaction result in a new uh, crystalline phase. The decrease of uh, XRD diffraction peak can be attributed to the mechanical damage to the reaction sample, which led to uh, grain re refinement and lattice uh, distortion. Figure five to point, uh, this figure also shows the XRD pattern of, uh, of the material samples of the mechanical, uh, mechanochemical reaction at 600 RPM. The results show that the mechanical reaction, uh, mechanochemical reaction products of the material could be identified as lithium sodium uh, sulfate and iron phosphate indicating that this material disappeared uh, uh, through a mechanical force and was converted to another one, uh, another material. So this figure is the FTR spectrum of uh, different reaction sample. The result in this figure show that similar to XRD result, uh, the intensities of the infrared uh, characteristic peak of this material was greater than that one of a lithium uh, salt. The result in uh, figure uh, 4.7 shows, shows that after mechanochemistry reaction at different rotary speed, uh, the characteristic peak of, uh, of the material gradually disappear and the new characteristic peak appear in the infrared spectrum. The new characteristic peak can be uh, marked as a medium uh, intensity characteristic peak and the low intensity characteristic peak of the sulfate. This confirmed that this material disappeared through a mechanical force and was converted to another one. This figure is the XPS uh, spectra of the of the of the of the ferrous before and after mechanical uh, chemical reaction of of the material. The results show that after the a mechanochemistry solid phase oxidation, the characteristic bending energy of, uh, of this show that a significant shift to the right, uh, which is the result of the oxidation of the chemical valence of, of uh, an species. This confirms that after mechanochemistry reaction, uh, the, the, the errors in this material was, was uh, converted into another uh, uh, species, which is also the characteristic surveillance uh, state that uh, this material. So figure shows the effect of different uh, for material uh, mass risk on matter recovery when the mass rate of this material is to 2.1, uh, uh, the recovery of the lithium was able to reach maximum. At the same time, the recovery of percentage of iron is only uh, 20%. So the result in this figure show the increasing uh, rotary speed can simultaneously increase the recovery of lithium and iron. 
but the effect on rain was significantly higher than that for the for the lithium. So this figure shows the metal recovery efficiency with different ball milling, uh, ball milling times. The result of the study show that a reaction time of five minutes is sufficient to recover almost all of the lithium. So this figure is uh, XR depicting of water leaching residue. Uh, the identification results show that the water residue was uh, uh, was uh, was here. With this as a, a chemical as a precipitant, uh, you can see the uh, what kind of solution uh, in this solution can be recovered by chemical precipitation to final obtain uh, compounds. The reaction equation is given here. And the result in this uh, figure show that the resulting products was indeed uh, uh, sure that is, uh, we want. Uh, further analysis through SEM is also show that uh, we get the right compounds. So for, from the economy side, it's also good here. Uh, I'm not say uh, much more uh, information here. Is uh, we have a preliminary analysis for the carmi side. So for the output of this research, we can see that when the solid phase oxidant is uh, used as a co-grating, uh, is uh, much higher. Is uh, lithium uh, can be selective release and recover. The preci uh, precipitation recovery of these uh, of the uh, chemicals released by the uh, mechanochemistry assisted solid phase oxidation can be achieved by using water leaching. And the mechanical assisted solid uh, uh, phase oxidation system proposed in this study may be new environment sound uh, system that selective release and recover leasing from spent uh, leasing batteries. Finally, I will conclude and have a perspective. So lithium battery, is a, lithium battery is a major research of the research team of the Economy and Urban Mining of Chikba University. And the broad networking has been established in previous year on recycling and collection of lithium batteries. And the technology has been close cooperated with the companies of uh, Lithium recycling for material recovery and dismantling. Uh, we are uh, looking forward to cooperation with the famous university and companies in lithium battery recycling. And also, we want to establish a policy and the regulation for lithium, uh, uh, lithium uh, batteries collection through the international cooperation and uh, technology uh, assistance to the other countries, especially developing countries. And also we uh, uh, hope that we can raising funds for capacity building for developed countries in the near future with a high priority work because we, uh, we are not, uh, I'm also uh, an executive director for uh, of Basel Convention Regional Center for waste management. And uh, UNEP, thank you very much for your attention. This is my presentation. Thank you.